Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have more to cover that has divided fans based on their reaction so far. And I'll walk with you guys through the different stages that shaped this fiasco. And there's so much misinformation going on right now, even from Snoop who recently tried to twist the narrative in his favor with this. A lot of brothers been crying about me leaving people off my top 10 without even seeing my list, so here it is for your information. Why you always lying? And this is his top 10, but Snoop here was being dishonest because the criticism he's gotten has nothing to do with a list but the fact that he said he can do without Eminem's music. If a fan says that, it's all good, but Eminem is supposed to be in his corner, and that's what people have an issue with. Even Crook agrees that it was how he worded his opinion that has rubbed off on people the wrong way, and not the least per se, but Royster59 jumped in on the action and fans reacted. And as we dive into this, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, turn on notifications, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So I was getting a bit confused on what was going on since Roy started appearing on my timeline and I even asked on Twitter for people to elaborate since it was Snake Dog and Snake the 59 all over the place. And this was the source. Snoop is qualified to say everything he just said. Everything? Really? We all know bringing up Eminem in that conversation only served one purpose and it was to downplay Eminem's impact. And yes, I agree that Dre gave us the best version of Marshall we could ever see. No one disagrees with that, haven't seen anyone say otherwise. I completely understand his criteria is going by. I'm the other way around as a fan. Snoop ain't as high on my list as M, but I can't live without Doggy Style. Now, if it ended here, I don't think anyone would have reacted in the way they did so far, but Royce had to add this. I'll take that over any M album, it's all subjective. Now, when you take a look at Royce's statement, we agree it's all subjective. But there's also what we refer to as sharing too much sometimes, especially when it only serves one purpose, which is to bring down and associate. Snoop's comments that he can live without Eminem's music has nothing to do with a top 10 list, same with Royce's closing statement, and now these comments have already been weaponized by Eminem detractors. Todd Remains even did it in the interview with Snoop Dogg right there, and I have to say, Snoop and Royce most likely need to take a communications class if they don't see the unnecessary bits about their recent statements and the implications moving on to the future. Shall I go on? But when you're talking about this hip hop that I can't live without, I can live without that. As you'd expect, fans are split on this and some people still choose to bury their heads in the sand and act like this is about a top 10 list when clearly it is not and those that got ticked off also reacted. One user states, I think I lost a little bit of respect for Royce, and Royce responded with, I don't care. And it was the same on Instagram. A user states, can't believe you agreed with Snoop saying that messed up statement about Eminem. And Royce replies with, lady, nobody cares about what you believe, be quiet. And the user breaks down why this is certainly not about top 10 lists, while highlighting how the tone would be different right now if Eminem downplayed Snoop's career with unnecessary follow-up statements. All these people saying it's not a big deal are the same ones that would go crazy if Eminem said he could live without Snoop's music, or that he could choose someone's album over any of the albums Royce has put out, and I have to agree with this. Hip-hop outlets love to talk about how hip-hop is global and important on a global scale, but they are hell-bent on tarnishing Eminem's legacy, and now that Snoop and to an extent Royce have contributed to the quote-unquote downplay Eminem party, a user states, y'all justifying saying Eminem's music doesn't matter? He popularized hip-hop worldwide, and the mainstream can't have it both ways. They'll either have to admit that they are not proud that hip-hop is global, or begin to acknowledge Eminem's contributions with respect. But Snoop just gave them another reason not to, and Royce brought in his two cents with a closing statement that was totally unnecessary. Social media is the reason for all this unnecessary talk that only serves to downplay Eminem's career and the user expands on this. This social media thing got brothers messed up. I'm only 27 but no way in hell my friends for 20 years or anybody in my circle is gonna discredit what I do for the world to see. Even if it does feel like Doggy Style is better than every M album, why are you posting it for the world to see? This is the equivalent of the idiom earn your dirty laundry 
The world could have heard of Snoop's top 10 without bringing Eminem into the conversation, and Royce's statement didn't need the doggy style over every Eminem album, but it's his opinion, and people have a right to share their opinion about his opinion, it's a cycle. This was Eminem on his latest album on the song No Regret. All the hate can't tell exactly where it stems from, but it's happening again, huh? And under the guise of quote-unquote, it's just my opinion, Snoop and Royce, despite no one asking for their two cents on Eminem's impact, decided to willingly drop opinions that have only added to the hate, and once again, for the people in the back, this is not about a top 10 list. Share your thoughts below, like and subscribe if you haven't, and see you on the next one.